Hey, hey future York, York students. students! I'm Sidel. And I'm Nitha. And welcome to the Faculty of Liberal Arts and Professional Studies program chat series. We want you to know that here in LAMPS you will study what you love and learn what you need. In this chat you'll be hearing from future professors as well as current students about the program. What it has to offer you like internship opportunities. And what your first year in the program may look like. All right, should we get started? Yeah, let's get started. Enjoy everybody. Hi, everyone, and thank you for joining us for this Liberal Arts and Professional Studies program chat. Today, we're going to be talking about a program that I know a lot of you are interested in, our Business and Society program. Before we get started, I do want to take a moment just to talk a little bit about the land that York University is located on. Now, this meeting is virtual, and because of that, we are not all actually gathered in the same space. York's land acknowledgement might not represent the territory that you are currently on. And I would ask if that is the case, that you each take the responsibility to acknowledge the traditional territory that you are on and its current treaty holders. As a member of the York University community, I recognize that many Indigenous nations have long-standing relationships with the territories upon which York University campuses are located that precede the establishment of York mm -hmm. University. York University acknowledges its presence on the traditional territory of many Indigenous nations. The area known as Takaranto has been taken care of by the Anishinaabek Nation, the Haudenosaunee Confederacy, the Huron-Wendat, and the Métis. It is now home to many Indigenous peoples. We acknowledge the current treaty holders, the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation. This territory is subject of the Dish with One Spoon Wampum Belt Covenant, an agreement to peaceably share and care for the Great Lakes region. Now I'd like to introduce a very special guest we have with us today, uh, one of the members of our Business and Society faculty, Professor John Simulitis. Good morning, Professor. Hello. So I was wondering if you could tell us a little bit about uh, yourself and the program to get us started. Yeah, hi, uh, my name is uh, John Simulitis. I am uh, going to be the uh, program coordinator uh, starting July uh, 1st of this year. Um, and I, I teach uh, um, uh, a few courses in our program. I teach the Introduction to Business and Society uh, course. I also uh, uh, teach um, a fourth year course on the business of food and farming. I'm involved with a number of projects on campus involving uh, uh, you know, sustainability and fair trade, uh, which I'll talk a little bit more about when we, we talk about the, the, the different streams in our program. And, and you know, for starters, um, you know, I think uh, it, 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 you know, uh, uh, most of you, when you hear the word business, you'll probably uh, associate that with uh, with the dominant sort of institution of our time, which is you know the modern corporation. And 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 so when you you know it, if you hear the word business, you know you probably have some preconceived notions about well, what what I'm about to talk about. So what I ask you to do is is just sort of put those um, those those ideas, just put those aside for for a moment and sort of let yourself. Um, uh, uh, you know, here, you know, the, the presentation I'm about to give about, you know, uh, how we look at business in this, uh, in this program and, and, uh, um, you know, what, uh, uh, what it's about. It's, it's not a traditional, you know, business program. It's, um, it, it's, it's a, it's a social science, you know, program. So that means, uh, that we're interested, uh, in the relationship between business and society, uh, from a variety of different social scientific perspectives. So that's you know, what I'll say to, to start with, and, uh, and maybe uh, I'll say a little bit more about that when I start my presentation. So welcome to this uh, Business Society program chat. Uh, you, can, you can find out a little bit more about our, our program just by you know, checking out the York University uh, website, or you can even follow us on Twitter. Uh, we have a, you know, a, a Twitter account, and uh, we tweet out um, you know, kinds of events that we think students uh, might be interested in. And uh, um, uh, I think it's uh, you know, just an interesting way of, of learning about the uh, a program just by seeing you know, what kinds of things um, you know, the faculty in our program are doing, as well as uh, um, other, other faculty in our department as, as well. So yeah, my name is Johnson Lewis. I, I teach in the Business Society program. And uh, I'm also uh, going to be the coordinator starting July 1st. Uh, so I welcome you to um, to this uh, little program chat and and let's get started so uh, you know as i've already mentioned um you know this is uh, when you hear the word uh, uh, business in, in society you think of the business in terms of uh, uh the dominant institution of our times and you know from the from the mo moment you wake up in the morning sort of you know a lot of things that you do that you take for granted you know corporations are involved with you know when you brush your teeth you know you're using toothpaste you pour a cup of coffee 
you know, uh, where does this come from? You know, how is it produced? Uh, under what conditions? You know, what what impact does it have uh, on the people producing it, on the environment? You know, uh, there's a lot of things, a lot of things, a lot of questions associated with that um, that that we are interested in, and, and so that's that's kind of what makes us different from sort of a traditional uh, business program. Uh, where you know the business, a traditional business program might look at the you know, the corporation as a kind of a collection of different sort of offices, right? And in each office, um, you have uh, different functions, and you know you have you know, supply chain management, human resource management, product development, you know, and so on, right? Uh, and and you would think that the the purpose of of a, of a business uh, program would be to uh, provide you with sort of the training, the skills, the certification. That would allow you to sort of uh, apply for get 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 jobs inside of these these uh, various offices. Well, our our perspective is, is a bit different. You know, we we approach we might approach, for example, uh, the corporation from the perspective of a sociologist and say, well, we're, what we're interested in studying, you know, uh, rather than you know the the kinds of skills you need to work within these offices is um, like the decision making structure of the corporation. You know, the the um, relations of hierarchy and power and control. You know, that are exercised within within corporations, uh, and so we might be you know, t- talking here about this this uh, you know one area of research is corporate governance. So, so that's um, you know that's you know the, the the big difference I think between our program and and uh, a traditional business program. So when you when you see this first question, you know what is business and society? And what do you hope to learn from it? Um, you know it it helps if you have some. Uh, understanding that when we talk about business and society, those are the kinds of questions, uh, and I'll talk about a few more later on in this presentation, but those are the kinds of questions that we're mostly interested in. And so once you have an understanding of that, then you can ask yourself, you know, what do you hope to learn from? Uh, I'll also talk about who we are, you know, the faculty uh, and staff in our, in our program, um, and about, you know, uh, you know this, these questions, but what, is it, what does it take to graduate? Uh, you know, I, I will briefly talk about that in terms of just the streams that we have, uh, if you uh, do decide to come to York and, and decide to major in business and society, we'll have a, a bigger orientation session where I'll talk about the um, you know, degree requirements in a lot more detail and, and I'll give you a chance to ask some questions about that. Uh, but you might be interested in, in knowing you know, what else you can do with your degree. So you know, the idea that uh, you know, business and society is you can get a degree in business society and, uh, and that you know, there, there's other things you can do uh, along with it, I'll talk about some of the certificate options, for example. And finally, I do want to say, you know, that you know, as as nervous as you might be about applying to university, um, you know, you're not alone, right? And and when you come to New York, there's all kinds of fantastic people, including the people that are helping to to organize this program chat, uh, that you can turn to for help. You know, if you have questions about you know um, academic related questions, or even you need some. Uh, social support, right? I mean, there's, there's, it's amazing the kinds, and you know, we have you know, also uh, you know, support for international students, for example. So, uh, as I said, uh, it is not a traditional business program, right? Uh, that's you know, business society. It starts. You know, if we start by by, by acknowledging that, uh, then we'll have uh, make some progress, right? Um, so, what do we do in this program? We look at the the intersection of business and society. So, there's there's lots of different ways. Uh, that business and society uh, interact, right? I mean, there's the obvious economic ways, um, and there's there's the you know, social ways in terms of uh, you know uh, our relationship uh, uh, relationships that we develop at work. And, you know, most those of us who've had experience, you know, working uh, in business, uh, and most likely, you know, in, in uh, you know wage work, uh, we understand, you know, that uh, there's a there's a relation of hierarchy, right? You have a boss, and your boss tells you what to do, and you've consented to, uh, you know, follow the rules, right? When you accept that, that that job and you accept the wages that are being paid, right? And there's a contract there, and most of us, you know, when we enter into these contracts, especially the first few times, you know, we really don't have much of a say in terms of uh, the terms of that contract, right? We don't have much power to negotiate, uh, um, you know, the the um, you know, the, 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 our tasks, the, the level of wage rate, um, uh, what we do, you know, uh, what kind of control we have over the, you know, this you know, five, you know, six or eight hours uh, each day that we spend spend at work. Uh, so we look at the intersection of business society in terms of its, you know, economic dimensions, you know, political dimensions, uh, social dimensions, ideological dimensions, legal dimensions, 
and so on. And so for that, for all these kinds of inter interactions, intersections, right? Uh, you can look at these intersections and uh, connections uh, through a variety of different disciplinary perspectives. And so we, we can look at it from an economic perspective, we can look at it from a sociological perspective, look at it from the perspective of political science, which is my own, my own background, uh, uh, look at it from the perspective of business, environmental study, ethics, legal theory, uh, political philosophy, lots of different different ways, and that's kind of what you're doing when you're when you accept uh, uh, when you when you uh, decide to major in business society. You're majoring, you know, in our uh, social science uh, department. Uh, it's it's a very interdisciplinary uh, uh, department, and our program is interdisciplinary as well. And so, when you think of what are the key issues that arise in the intersection of business and society, and you know, we look at things like climate change, you know, resource extraction. Uh, uh, energy consumption uh, uh, and pollution. We look at uh, relations of inequality and social exclusion, and this is you know has all kinds of different dimensions in terms of you know class, race, and gender. Uh, we look at the you know the issues of corporate power. You know, I mean, it goes without saying. Uh, you know, for most of us, if we you know ask the question, who has more political power, right? In terms of you know understanding, you know, who gets to decide the rules of the game when it comes to you know how our, our political life is organized. You know, is it you know who has more political powers? Is it you or a corporation? You know, most of us acknowledge it. It's like common sense, right? Corporations have way more political power uh, than than we do as individuals, and and so that, that's a huge. You know, we take that for granted, but in our program, we take that as a as a huge huge problem that we really have to unpack and study and understand. You know, how did this come to be? Right? How did this? You know, how did corporation come to, uh, into existence in the first place? And so we'll study you know, the history, for example, the corporate form. Um, we'll study uh, um, you know, the kinds of uh, uh, legal revolutions that it enabled um, you know, corporations to acquire a whole bunch of uh, uh, you know, superpowers that, that you know, the real you know, flesh and blood legal persons uh, don't possess, right? Uh, that these corporate artificial legal persons do possess. And finally, you know, what we're really interested in is, is the, you know, what's wrong with what's going on. Not just, you know, social science uh, can help us understand what is happening, right? And try to explain, you know, uh, using, uh, you know, concepts and theories to explain what's going on. Uh, but it's, you know, and it's a different different perspective to look at it from, uh, from, from, a, from an ethical perspective, looking at our political values and say, what's wrong with this, right? You know, is, is the way things are the way things ought to be? And if the answer to that question is, you know, obviously no, you know, we, we, we shouldn't have uh, these kinds of environmental, you know, social, political problems, and we need to do something about it. And that question is, you know, how do we, how do we bring this change about? And so we, we, you know, these are the questions, and this is sort of what the entire program is really about. And so, you know, I hope that if you choose uh, um, this, this program, um, that in the process of, of learning about it, taking your, your, your courses and doing the readings and, and uh, you know, listening to um, uh, you know, your professors talk about the, the, these big problems, you know, that, that you're going to, and, and not just actually what happens inside the classroom, but what you learn outside the classroom as well. I mean, there's uh, learning takes place not just, uh, you know, during your, your uh, lectures or tutorials, but it happens when you leave the classroom too, and there's, you know, it's not just uh, talking to your colleagues, your fellow students, uh, but attending you know, events and you know joining student groups and doing doing all the kinds of things that you should be doing as a student, learning about the York uh, community and what's going on there. That in the process of doing this, you're going to develop a sense of purpose. You're going to say, you know, what, you know, what should I do with my life, and what should I learn? You know, what kind of a, uh, um, a person do I want to be? I mean, I think, you know, fundamentally. Um, university should be about challenging your sense of self and, and defining yourself in terms of what really interests you. And, and sometimes, you know, we don't know what our interests are until we, we we're exposed to a you know, wide variety of different of different ideas and different histories and and and, um, and and so on. So I think in that process, you'll develop a sense of purpose and you'll be able to answer this question about what you hope to learn in our program. And and so what what um, you know if you're having problems. Uh, with um, whether it's you know enrollment issues uh, or um, you know deciding on the, the stream if you want to choose you know I'm I'm about to talk a little bit about that and skip over a lot of the details around your degree requirements 
Um, but uh, you know, if you have questions about that, you know, don't hesitate. You know, start first of all. You know, start with the person next to you, right? And chances are, the person who's sitting next to you is a student. And and don't hesitate. Don't be shy. I mean, you'll you'll be surprised how easy it is to make friends at university. Uh, you know, because they're in the same position that you are. And if you're you're you know you're feeling you're feeling a bit lost, you have questions. Um, the first thing is to turn the person closest to you and say, "Can you can you help me?" And and don't be uh, don't be afraid to do that. And chances are, you know, if you reach your hand out for help, somebody's going to reach back. Um, and if you if you both don't know the answer to that question, you know, then the two of you can go on and and turn to the third person and so on and so forth. And and if if they can't help, then you can turn to faculty and staff. You know, ask. Your TA, ask your prof, you know, ask your the staff um, uh, your, your questions, and we're here to help. If we don't know the answer, uh, chances are we know, you know who does, and we can direct you to the right people. Uh, in terms of faculty, you know, these are these are the faculty here. Um, we have uh, 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 you know, Richard Wellen, who teaches on on law and governance. We have Shalawa Olawoye Mand, who teaches on. Uh, um, uh, a number of courses on neoliberal globalization, as well as uh, business and social exclusion. We have Audrey Lamos, who teaches the introductory course on uh, business and society, as well as uh, issues in business and society. With Sonia Scott, who teaches law and governance. Nadal, who teaches on the you know, business and the environment, um, but also uh, uh, the firm and organization. We have uh, Mark Peacock, who teaches in ethics and economics. Um, and we have myself, you know, who I, I like to teach on. Uh, I do teach the introduction to business society, also the business of food and farm. Um, so uh, now we have, oops. Uh, we also have a number of, you know, we, we're a large program. There's you know, something like close to, a, you know, there's over a thousand students in our program. And so we can't you know, possibly teach all of the courses uh, by ourselves. So we do, in, in the past, we've relied on, um, not just you know, full-time faculty members, but also contract faculty members to, to teach our courses. So, uh, you know, we teach, uh, you know, there's you know, Alan Greenbaum teaches corporate social responsibility, corporate governance law. Uh, uh, Sylvia Peacock, who teaches business communication, also ethics and economics. Venetia Deo teaches a corporate social responsibility and, and corporate governance law. Patrick Clark, who's our um, uh, uh, a one-year CLA, who's taught uh, uh, on the social economy, and we also have Madison Hopper, who teaches the business of fair trade. And finally, uh, in terms of our staff, uh, we have our, our, our faithful uh, our program assistant, Susan Fiorillo, um, and she can help with all kinds of issues, uh, your enrollment issues, your course selection advising, and you can contact her at buso at yorku.ca. Uh, and, and so I, I did say, you know, I'm, I'm not going to go into all the different programs um, requirements and degree requirements, but um, you, if you're interested, you can look it up by looking at the, the calendars page uh, for for students and look at the degree requirements there. But but ultimately, what these degree requirements are, and you know, there's you know, there's it's sort of like scaffolding, right? You, you know, each year you sort of uh, you create a foundation to prepare yourself for the next year, and each year you're sort of climbing up that mountain and developing your skills and developing your academic capabilities. So you reach the top and you're able to sit down, you know, so you move from these large you know, introductory courses, you know, 200, 300 students, uh, maybe more, and actually we've had up to 500 students in intro class at some, some point. Um, and then you, you, know, you get to these, uh, to third and fourth year where the classes are smaller, and by fourth year, you're, you're in a, a small seminar with up to 25 students and you're talking and driving the discussion um, and with your with your colleagues there. So this is about developing your academic capabilities. And so, um, yeah, I mean, I, I will you know say you know there's two degree options: you have the, the four year degree option, which is 120 credits, and and the three year degree option, which is only 90 credits. Um, and you also take you know you're not just so there's electives that you can you can take you know it's it's just a uh, um, you know up to 42 for your um, for your uh, your honors degree and 24 for your ordinary degree, um, and we have uh, gen ed courses as well. These are sort of you know uh, uh, courses that are meant to help you develop your 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 your, your academic skills uh, in, a, in a more direct and, and conscious way, uh, as well as you know understanding how to, to look at different 
um, bringing different disciplines together, kind of like this this course. And this course, uh, by the way, the Intro to Business Society course is also a general education course. It fulfills both of those functions. Uh, so, but it's, you can't count it as both. You have to, if you're a Busso major, it counts as your major. Uh, if you're not a Busso major, you take it and and uh, you 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 can use that as your general education requirement. So, you know, there's interdisciplinary courses are generally. Uh, good courses for uh, or generally gen ed courses, and um, uh, finally, you know, you, you're, you're going to learn how to read, you know, different kinds of texts in gen ed courses as well as the um, intro to business society course. And that means, you know, how do you read an academic article? How do you read a book? You know, how do you read a blog entry? You know, how do you read, uh, uh, you know, an article in a newspaper or or in a magazine? You know, how do you read a a film or a video clip? All of these, um, you know, the, these types of uh, uh, um, uh, forms of communication are, are texts, right? We we have to listen in different ways uh, and approach them in different ways depending on what kind of a, a form of communication, what kind of a text it is. So that's what interdisciplinary uh, breadth and uh, 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 you know critical skills uh, entail. Um, so I'm I'm going to skip skip through a lot of this. And, and talk just a little bit about the, the the six streams, right? Because when you when you when you uh, enter into this program, um, you don't have to do this in your first year. You kind of your first year, you're going to get a little bit of taste of all of these things, right? You're getting a taste about business ethics, CSR. You know, you know, you're introducing yourself to some um, issues around the interaction between corporations and the environment. You're going to understand and study the firm and organization within the firm. Um, you know, study the global economy, understand the institutions. Uh, uh, of, you know, the, of the international economy, law and governance, and this thing called the social economy. Uh, I know, I'm just going to focus a little bit on the social economy first because you know, this is kind of what makes this program really, really unique. Because as I started off by saying, you know, the business business in society is not a traditional business program. Uh, in traditional business programs, they, you know, a lot of when, when students look at them, they think, well, this is my my way of getting the, the training. And uh, education uh, and certification. I need to apply for jobs. With them. Well, the social economy is kind of like, you know, what is the alternative to that? Is there, you know, do, you know, do I have to, you know, uh, um, uh, you know just resign myself to uh, an education that is going to, you know, lead into some giant, enormous, you know, uh, global corporation uh, with all the things that you know that are entailed by that? And so the answer is no. I and mean, then we look at the social economy. The social economy kind of it looks at how, sort of how communities, you know, through through resilience, um, you know, and through the fact that you know maybe you know uh, governments have failed them, maybe you know corporations have failed them. Traditional, the traditional sort of forms of business that well, we, we talked about. Like, well, what is traditional really, right? I mean, the traditional forms of business is communities, you know, looking after themselves and being being self reliant and, and self organizing. So, you know, social economy. Looks at you know how uh, you know through market failures, failures and government failures, you know uh, what forms of economic organization emerge from communities uh, to provide uh, for the needs of those communities. So if we need work, you know how do we do this? So we look at things like you know co-ops, you know worker-run cooperatives. They could be consumer cooperatives or financial cooperatives. Um, you know run on slightly different principles. You know, then the, the shareholder wealth maximizing you know corporation. Uh, we look at nonprofits and the role of nonprofits, and we look at uh, social enterprises. So, for example, I sit on the board of of a of a, of a nonprofit corporation called Green Campus Cooperative, and um, you know we're, we're we're a social enterprise that's involved in, in fair trade, and fair trade is about recognizing the kinds of um, historic. Global economic inequalities that that have emerged uh, uh, between you know developed, advanced you know capitalist countries in the so-called global north and their relationship with um, um, developing countries in the global south, and often these relationships uh, historically have been you know relations of domination, right, of, of colonial uh, oppression and exploitation. And you know you look at something like coffee, for example, uh, and this is one of the you know products most of you, if you're if you've heard of fair trade. Uh, you know, might might uh, be, be aware of, and so you know, fair trade coffee is about ensuring that you know the farmers who are producing uh, you know, the coffee that we drink every morning um, get a fair deal, right? That that their 
uh, they have a, you know, uh, some kind of economic security and guarantee of a, of a minimum price that they're paid a social premium for producing in this way. And that social premium is used uh, uh, for uh, community benefit and community economic development and so on. So, you know, what are, you know, what are the alternatives, right, to, to the dominant institutions of our time? And that's where the social economy comes in. And so I, I'll, I'll, I'll finish off by talking about some of the things you can do with your degree, what else you can do with your degree. So, you, you know, you get you get your degree, but there's all kinds of other inter interesting things going on, you know, and, and you know, I've you know, met students who are, you know, studying, you know, business, but also in fine arts and, and doing a degree in dance, for example, or, um, you know, students who are, uh, um, um, you know, interested in, um, you know, uh, looking at, you uh, uh, you know, the traditional forms of sort of certification that you can get that, that will also get you, you know, in, in a, uh, into a traditional sort of business. Uh, you know, uh, so uh, you can, for example, what can you do with your degree and combine it with another minor and let your interest be your guide. Uh, so you, 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 know, you know, if you find your sort of form between two things, really, really like English literature and you know, I want to study, uh, you know, in, you know Victorian literature, and, and, and you can do that. As you know, I, I actually use some literature in my uh, when I teach Introduction to Business and Society. So you can combine a Busso degree with a, a minor in English. You can earn a certificate. There's all kinds of certificate programs. I'm actually working on one uh, right now. It's a, a, a cross faculty uh, uh, certificate in, in food studies, critical food studies, of course. So, you know, we, we look at you know. The, you know, the dominant institution of our time. So what happens when corporations cook for us, right? Uh, there's all kinds of serious problems that arise uh, when, when we, we, we look at this uh, and, and the system today, um, you know, political problems, economic problems, environmental problems. And so, you know, the, this food certificate is about trying to help students acquire the kinds of understandings and skills that they might need to, you know, think of alternative food systems, um, things like agroecology and urban agriculture um, and so on um, if you're not sure if you're you know what you want to do with your degree you can visit the career center every year they they host um, uh, uh, orientations for students uh, in different programs they can help you with job searches resume building cover letters um, and, and these annual workshops of what you can do with your degree and, and it's you know the last thing i'll say is that remember that the uh, Busso degree is a liberal arts degree and so what you're going to be acquiring, the skills you're going to be acquiring isn't, you know, isn't a kind of certification of, of your abilities to run a corporation. It's, it's you're learning a, a set of transferable skills. And, and so these skills can be applied to a variety of different uh, um, uh, potential career paths. Uh, and it's, it's not a professional degree, right? Although it has business in, in the, the title, uh, we're not uh, you know, training you. Uh, to be certified anything, so accountants or uh, human resource managers or anything like that. Although you can you know, earn a certificate in, in some of those things. And so, um, what, you know, uh, you know the, the last thing I'll say is that there's all kinds of academic and social support mechanisms and, and services, you know, at York, uh, you know, just ask, you know, you can, you can turn uh, to lots of places for help, but but you, you can develop a sense of resourcefulness, you know, in, in navigating all of these things. And so, uh, Bruce Owen has a student association. You can, you can get to know fellow your fellow classmates. Uh, they organize academic and social events. They do peer advising. And here's their email contact. You can contact the Bruce Owen program or, or the Department of Social Science at these email addresses. Um, there's also uh, student community leadership development that runs this, uh, uh, a series of workshops, uh, learning skills, uh, and they do. Um, Organized student engagement, so you can join other clubs and organizations as well. Be part of the, the community life uh, at York, and finally, there's York International. If you're an international student, it's a place to be. Uh, we'll, we'll help you with immigration, health, insurance, work, housing, and they also offer peer support and social network. So that's it for my presentation. Thank you so much, Professor Similitas. Uh, that was a fantastic overview of the Business and Society program. And I hope that's given you at home a little uh, more to think about uh, when you're thinking about what program might be right for you. Um, I'm going to turn it over one more time uh, to Professor Similitas uh, for any final advice you might have for students who are thinking about uh, coming into your program for first year. 
Yeah, sure. Um, well, okay. So I have I have three three pieces of advice uh, to students. Uh, I think the first one is is uh, you know discover your interest and listen to yourself. Right. Uh, discover your interest in, in you know as as um, uh, Adam said you know uh, you have to you know look at into all these different programs and say which, which one's right for me. Um, you know don't. Um, you know, keep yourself open to the possibility that, um, you know, your interests lie elsewhere than where you're originally applying. So you might end up, you know, um, you know majoring in this, uh, you know, just declaring Lusso as your major, um, but discover, you know, after taking some gen ed course that you really, really want to do uh, communication studies, for example. Uh, and so, you know, be open to the possibility that at the end of your first year, you might, or second year, that you might switch your programs. Uh, so that's the first bit of advice. You know, uh, listen to yourself. Follow your own interests. Your, you know, your parents might, you know, really be set on you taking a particular kind of uh, degree option. But if you're not going to be happy in it, you know, that's what really matters, right? Is your own happiness and your own, you know, sense of purpose, right? So discover your own sense of purpose. Discover your interests. You know, follow those. It's the first piece of advice. The second piece of advice is make friends, right? Um, I think, you know, I, in my first year as an, as an undergrad, I don't think I really talked to, to anyone. Uh, there was a couple of people I knew, and those are the only people I talked to, but I really didn't talk to anyone until about three quarters of the way, you know, through the year. And then I said to myself, what am I doing? You know, why did I wait so long? You know, this is, it's crazy, you know? So, the, the, you know, make friends, you know, talk to people around you. Um, you know, what's the worst that can happen, right? I mean, they might not, you might not, uh, you know, connect and that's fine, but you can always talk to the person, the next person, right? Don't give up, you'll make lots of friends. But having a good social support network is really crucial uh, to your academic success as well as your, your social uh, well-being. Uh, and the third thing is, you know, talk to, talk to your props, right? We're, we are just like you, you know, we're human beings, um, you know, some profs might insist on being referred to as professor, you know, or a sir or, or a miss or whatever. You know, I don't, I don't really, you know, care. And, and uh, to be honest, you know, I, I prefer, uh, you, know, you know, call me John. You know, it's uh, you know, we're we're you know, human beings, right? And um, you know, we we're just a little bit further along than you are um, in terms of our uh, career you know, trajectories, and we're going to get you know somewhere in the future. And uh, yeah, we're not. Um, yeah, you know, as intimidating as it might be to to, to talk to a prof, uh, we actually really like talking to students. Um, and so, yeah, strike up a conversation, visit us during our office hours, you know, shoot us an email, um, and if you know, we'll we'll respond. I think so. I, I think those are the three biggest uh, keys uh, of advice. You know, uh, follow your interests, make friends, talk to your profs. Hope you enjoyed the program chat, everyone. If you have any questions about our LNPS programs, be sure to visit our website to learn more. And make sure to stay in touch with us for a chance to win a $100 gift card at the York Bookstore. The link to our website is in the description box below. You can also send your questions to us, the LNPS student recruitment team. We'd love to hear from you, so send us an email at goyork at yorku.ca. And we look forward to seeing you all on campus next year. Bye. Bye.